Hello, what's up everyone? Uh, we need to continue uh, the second lecture of this week and we move on to a new topic, control of flow. And for the control flow uh, in Python, well, usually we mean if and else, and there are some other different structures of if and else. Okay, uh, a very quick review. Uh, last lecture, we talked about the Python strings, and you should know len is for the length, right? You get the length of a string, and namely, how many characters are there. And for the concatenation, you can combine two strings together, but remember, you have to do a string plus another string. And for the repetition, we can re you can uh, repeat a string for many times. And I usually do that, for example, like uh, in my daily exercises in this line, uh, that means I want to repeat a hyphen hyphen for a total of 10 times. And then we know the escape sequences. For the escape sequences, escape, to escape means to escape from the normal behavior. So if in a string you see a backslash and n, and this means, well, this backslash n tells Python you, you shouldn't really treat the backslash n as two characters, a backslash and an n. Instead, you should treat that treat backslash n as a one single character as a line break. And for the formatting strings, we talk about two different approaches. We can do percent sign or uh, dot format. But no matter which way you want to do, and the thinking of the string formatting of those two approaches are almost the same. You create a string with a few placeholders, and then you want to backfill in all the holes. Okay, and then for the typecasting, you can force one data type to be another data type, but you can't always re rely on that. Say, uh, well, last last time I remember I did a 44 uh, UU as a string, and then 44 is good, but U, U, two U's, well, combined with 44, I can't really cast that into an integer. Right, and then we also talk about different type of arrows. And for the arrows, well, you really need to get used to that, and you need to know how to read the arrow messages and get something useful to help you figure out what are the issues in your code. And today we are going to see comparison operators and bool or boolean values and if else statements. Well, the very first thing, the comparison operators. And well, we have already seen them before in day two, I believe. Uh, equals equals means, well, value one. It, well, we're, that means we are testing whether value one equals value two. And then greater than, smaller than, greater or equal to, smaller or equal to, and then not equals. Okay, so well, uh, on the right side, I see I create a very simple code like my age is 21, uh, and then I want to print my age greater than 18. So comparing my age versus 18, and then, well, it is true, right? So my age 21 it is indeed greater than 18. So in this case, what are we going to get? If you want to try this code, and then the answer is true. So this true is a boolean, means this statement is evaluated to be true in Python. And we can do uh, more comparisons. Like for the first one, uh, four, um, oh, 3 multiplied by 4, that is a 12. So 12 equals equals 11, and that's a false because those two values are not the same. So we get a false. And then we can try different things, like the last one, 7 not equals 11. So 7 is does not equals 11, and that is true, right? So, well, you try different things, and sooner or later you will find out there are only two possible values, true and false, right? So by using the comparison operators, and it seems that you can only get those two values, and those two values are called bool or boolean in Python. So in Python, this type of, uh, this bool or boolean data type simply uh, store a true or false as a value. And remember, well, for the true and the false, you do have to capitalize the first letter. So true like this, false like this. Well, if you want to do all lower letters and, uh, and Python won't, won't be able to parse that, or if you want to add the codes, if you want to add the codes and then what? 
and then the true and the false. Python will treat them as string values, not Boolean values. So the valid Boolean values should be true like this or false like this. Okay? And then here are some very quick exercises. So if you want to print 5 equals, uh, equals, equals 5 and 5 equals, equals 6, what values are we going to get? Pretty straightforward, right? So 5 equals 5, that's a true, and then 5 equals, equals, equals 6, and that is a false. So true and a false. So the next one, what is the expected output of print true? So this true is what data type? That's a boolean, right? So I'm printing a boolean, so what? I should get a boolean. So for this one, I got a true. And how about this one? Hmm, I print another true, but in this case, I'm using a cos. So what am I gonna get? I'm still gonna get a true, right? So, well, the weird thing is, well, let me grab those two lines of code. And then, uh, wait, I want to create a new file. Uh, okay. So, day five, and then the everything. Say so I want to print day two. And then I also want to print another string two. Okay, and if I want to run this, this code, this is what I get. So exactly the same output, but do they mean the same thing? So from the other, it looks like they are the same, right? But they are actually different. So for this one, I'm printing a Boolean as a true. And for this one, I'm printing a string as a true. So even though they are, they look the same. But if we want to do this, print, true equals oops equals equals string true and what are you gonna get you get it fast right because the this the boolean true is not string true okay so we do have one extra thing to do so a boolean expression is the expression that evaluates to be a boolean value okay so if a statement it can be evaluated as a boolean value and then we call that a boolean expression. So down below, we have five statements. What are boolean expressions? So how about the first one? Is that a boolean expression? Yes, right? Because this one itself is a boolean, so it is a value. So a boolean value is definitely going to evaluate it to be a boolean value. So A is true. And how about the second one? So is that a boolean value? Uh, sorry, a boolean expression? Yes, right? So 3 equals equals 4, and then we're going to get a false. And then that false itself is also a boolean value. So B is also a boolean expression. And how about the third one? 3 plus 4. Is that a Boolean expression? No! The reason is 3 plus 4 will give you a 7, and 7 is an integer. That's not a Boolean. So 3, uh, sorry, C is not a Boolean expression. And how about D? 3 plus 4 equals equals 7. So for D, which operator are we going to evaluate first? We are going to evaluate the arithmetic operator first and then comparison operators so 3 plus 4 give you a 7 and then 7 equals 7 will give you a true so for d you do have a true so d is also a boolean expression and how about e it's e and boolean expression the answer is no why because that is a string that is a string false not a boolean false so e is not a boolean expression okay so i'm gonna pause here and i will see you in the next video